Hello, I am Monica Manzur, the Director of Student Affairs. In this video, we will be going over the registration process through the Student Gateway. The registration process is a three-step process, which begins with a consultation with your academic advisor. This should occur every semester for which you would like to enroll at Galen University. The second step is for you to search and select the courses for which you would like to register. For this, you will need your student ID number. The final step is for you to pay your registration fees and your student account to complete the registration process. To access the Student Gateway, you will go to the Galen website at www.galen.edu.bz. Once on the website, click on Student Gateway. At this stage, you will see the home page of the Student Gateway. If you click on Search, you are able to see a list of all courses being offered for that particular semester. In order to view the courses which you can register for, you will need to log in to access your particular account. At this point, you will use your student ID number for both your username and your password. Remember, your student ID number is on your academic pathway and you will use this number for both your username and your password. If at any point in time you forget what your password is, you can go ahead and click on Forgot Username and follow the steps that are directed to you. Go ahead and click on Login. On the account home, it will show you the program which you are enrolled for and any credits which you are enrolled for for that particular semester. For a list of instructions on how to register, you can click on Instructions which will show you a list of steps which you can follow. Click on Search Courses to view the possible courses for which you can register. To search for courses, you can either type the course code or you can go ahead and click on Search which will show you a list of all the courses for which you can register for. You will notice that the courses are listed by the name of the course and not the course code. You would need to click on the course in order to view further details. If you click on the course, you are able to see the course code, the semester for which it is being offered for, the days that it is being offered on, and the time of the course. You can also see the number of credits the course will be offering and how many available slots there are in the course. You can also see the instructor's name. For the location, you are able to see whether the course is being offered on a face-to-face -face basis or live online or an online course. If the course states live online, this means that the course will be offered in real time. Therefore, you will need to log in for the course at a specific date and time. When registering for courses, be careful if the course requires a prerequisite. In this course, you will see that Intermediate Algebra is a prerequisite for College Algebra. If I add this course to my cart, you'll notice that it has a constraint. If you click on prerequisite, it will give you a list of constraints where you can go ahead and read what needs to be done to resolve that constraint. In this case, prerequisite means that we cannot yet register for this course since we must meet the prerequisite. Therefore, we are going to remove this course from our cart. Let's go back to search courses. To add a course, let's click on University Success. This is GOX 100 being offered in the spring on Mondays and Wednesdays from 6 to 7.30 p.m. for three credits and it is a live online class by Ms. Elisa Espat. No prerequisites are needed. Let's go ahead and add it to our cart. The class is now on our cart and it is ready for us to continue registering. You can go ahead and continue to select more courses or you can check out. Let's select one more course. 
Let's select Intermediate Algebra. There's no prerequisites. Add to cart. Here is another conflict. This means that these courses are being offered at the same day and the same time, so we are unable to register for it. If you are ready to check out, you can click on check out and it will give you the option to review all the courses for which you have registered for. You must click on I have read and accepted the following terms and conditions in order for you to place your order. Thank you for your order. That's it. It's that easy. A list of all the courses for which you are registered for will show at this time. If any of the classes are full, which you do need to register for, please email records at galen.edu.bc to let them know which courses you need and if they are full so they can assist you. You will notice that it gives you the option to print your invoice. I have just registered for a course, however, my student account or my invoice is showing me a zero balance. It is important to note that the student gateway will not always show you an accurate invoice. If you would like the most updated invoice on your student account, email the finance office at finance at galen.edu.bz to receive the most updated information on your student account. Some other things that you can find on the student gateway, you can click on my account and you can change your password by clicking on view or edit your password information. If you scroll to the bottom, you are able to change your password. There are some requirements that you must meet in order to change your password. If you do this, ensure that you save your password in a safe place where you can access it at a later time and no one else will have access to your information. We can also see reports and if you click on PDF, it will give you a copy of your course schedule, including your instructor's name and the dates for the classes. You can also click on registrations, which will show you current classes for which you are registered for. And you can also see prior registrations. This is a good place to keep track of all the courses you have taken at Galen. To drop a class, just click on drop so that the class will no longer show on your account. Remember that you can only manually drop a class within the add drop period. If you would like to withdraw from a course after the drop add period, you must reach out to the registrar's office and fill out the withdrawal form to be formally removed from the course. If you click on view cart, you will be able to see all courses for which you would like to register for. In this instance, our shopping cart is empty because we have already checked out. As you can see, the registration process is that simple. However, remember to complete the registration process, you must pay the registration fee. The online registration does not guarantee your spot in the class. In order to guarantee your spot, you must pay the registration fee and send your proof of payment to the finance office. For any questions, contact the office of the registrar at records at galen.edu.bz